Okay, welcome to the sixth series uh, of this Impressionist landscape painting from start to finish. I think it's easier for me to do some voiceover sometimes rather than to try to talk and paint and chew gum at the same time. So what you're seeing is uh, obviously more color being added, but in certain there is a rhyme or reason behind the chaos and the madness. It's a method to the madness. It's a slow layering of the acrylic paint. Uh, it's one of the reasons I like acrylic paint is because you can layer it and uh, you know work fairly fast with it, which is good too. So here's um, probably the middle uh, of the sky being completed. And I'm gonna try to uh, move this along so you guys don't have to see every brush stroke, but maybe if I speed it up during the middle section of the video, uh, it'll progress a little quicker. So you can use some of the <clears throat> deeper opposite color tones to uh, highlight uh, the colors you really want to bring out. In other words, I'll use a, um, a red or, <clears throat> or in this case, I'm using like a dark cobalt blue so that some of those softer tones will, you know, come out uh, being juxtaposed to that, uh, those blues or the, it almost looks purple. Uh, to this side. Uh, I like to work with a darker background and then use the lighter color to go back if necessary to uh, put highlights or directional strokes. And you could see how I'm even holding the brush. It's, um, it doesn't have to be conventional. You can twist and turn and kind of just have fun with it as well. Okay, and um, we're getting to the point where some of the heavier uh, color and tone can go into the sky. Um, and you'll notice again, it's a period of layering and that kind of thing. But I'm about to go into a section of the video where we're going to speed it up so you can see how fast I really uh, am not in real life. Anyway, here it is. guys this impressionist sky is really starting to come together thanks for tuning in and, and stay tuned for the next video